Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to record chargebacks and currency transfers. So let's get started. This question was asked by Hector. I want to thank Hector for this question. Now, let's go over how to record currency transfers first. In your financial summary, if there is a currency transfer, you will see that displayed under transfers and withdrawals. Now, in this case, this is a positive, so it is a deposit into PayPal. If it was on the left-hand side with a negative like this, then it's coming out of PayPal. So in order to record that deposit, we want to go to New in your QuickBooks and then under Other, Bank Deposit and you will select your income accounts where you want this deposit to go. If it was a negative, then we would use vendors and then go into an expense and we would use the category, um, which in this case, that's money going out. So we would put it in the category of what we spent um, or what we purchased. So now let's go over how to record um, chargebacks. Now, in your financial summary, you will see your chargebacks under dispute activity. Now, in this case, uh, there is a negative and there's a positive, creating this um, section zero. But if you only have one and, and not the other, you will probably see the other um, the next month. This is because it cleared in the same month, so you see a positive and a negative. Should you still record it? I say yes because I like to uh, see the details of all the transactions that's going on. And especially if there's chargebacks, sometimes we don't get any, sometimes we get a lot, um, but we could go ahead and record it. So to record the negative, um, it is an expense and to record the positive, it is a bank deposit. Now the chargeback would be a discount chart of accounts. So just create a, a chart of accounts called um, chargebacks and the account type is discounts and that's how you would record your chargebacks now if you want to learn how to reconcile PayPal step by step check out my mini course on my website that will help you from beginning to end on how to reconcile your PayPal quickly and efficiently as you know, I don't sync PayPal with QuickBooks. I think that just causes too much um, problems and errors and too much work. Um, so check out my um, check out my mini course. I hope that this tutorial has helped you. Please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.